So are you looking for an action cam that can not only look forward, but can also look back? Well, the Kodak PixPro 4K VR 360 camera might be the perfect solution for you. We're talking about a camera that is an all-rounder and gives you the ability to literally look all around. Back, forwards, up and down. So how does it compare to its rivals? Well, it stands up really well. In comparison to let's say the Samsung Gear VR 360 camera, the PixPro 4K 360 camera has two 21 megapixel half inch sensors and the Samsung equivalent only has two 8.4 megapixel cameras. And that's a massive difference. But anyway, let's look at some of the reasons why you might want to buy this. It comes with three shooting modes. Of course, the full 360 VR video mode, which captures 8 million pixels at one to one ratio, which might be the very reason you want to buy this. But let's say you just want a forward facing shooter and you simply want to see more around you with a wider viewing angle than that seen on a GoPro. Well, the Kodak PixPro gives you two more options, a 197 degree 4K ultra wide angle view, which could be perfect for front facing dash cams or using on a motorbike or for sporting activities. And it also has a 235 degree dome view, which can shoot at 120 frames per second. And this could be perfect for using on a drone. One more really cool feature here is you can plug this directly into your laptop or desktop and stream live 360 videos to YouTube or Facebook. And this could be perfect for podcasts or live events, for example. And you can see here at either side, it has microphones to capture that full 360 audio. So I know what you're thinking now. Why is one dome larger than the other? Well, there's a good reason for this. Of course, with most commercially available 360 cameras, you will have blind spots at either side. With this dome set up, the PixPro software can better stitch the two images together seamlessly. So as well as being able to shoot 360 videos, you can shoot regular photos as well. And this device is designed to be shockproof and it comes with a vast amount of accessories that will make it adaptable to most conditions. And you can even use it underwater with this waterproof case. On board is a digital display and inside the device you can use up to 256 gigabytes on a micro SD card. But make sure you get the right grade SD card before you splash out the cash. When it comes to communications between the Pix Pro and your smart devices, you have a few options. It has NFC for fast pairing, it can work over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1. You also have the option of a remote control, which saves you from using your smartphone, which can be really convenient in some situations. Inside the device is a 1250 milliamp battery that can give you up to 55 minutes of continuous 4K video recording. And this device minus any attachments weighs in at 130 grams. Not bad for a 360 heavyweight hitter like this. So let's see what comes in the box. A lens cover for both lenses, the battery and a battery charger, a USB cable and an adapter, this nice little carry case and a cleaning cloth and of course all of the literature. Now of course you could go for the extreme edition which comes with even more attachments. So let me fly through these real quick. Inside the box you get a standard housing. You also get a curved adhesive mount, a flat adhesive mount, a vented helmet strap mount, a bar mount for your bike, a head strap mount, surfboard adhesive, a suction cup for maybe your windscreen in your car, anti-fog inserts, double-sided adhesive, the accessory tool, a selfie stick, a remote control mount for your remote control, and a screw mount, as well as a tether. I forgot to mention, you also get a really cool tripod which doubles up as a short selfie stick and this awesome smart remote watch. So you can be cool, like Michael Knight from Knight Rider. So that's it for this What Gear first look at the Kodak PixPro 4K VR 360 camera. And if you want to see videos and photos shot on the device, make sure you're subscribed to What Gear. And you're following me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, because I'm going to be uploading a bunch of content soon. So go check that out and see what you think of the quality for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't be late.